Oh, man. No more red shirts with the black stripe. Oh, uh, who is it? Room service just checking in All early. All right, just show yourself in. Sorry to bother you, but we just brewed a fresh pot of coffee, and I just wanted to show you. Hmm, thanks, but that looks more like water, but hey, uh -huh. I guess you can brew water. Yeah, it's great. Listen, I'm from America. Good for you. And I'm just trying to find out, you know, a places to go, but I can't read the signs. I walked into a store thinking it was a bar, and then it was like... Oh, everyone makes that mistake. It's both. I can get a beer at a post office in this town? Well, maybe perhaps we could get a beer. If you're not too busy looking for a particular shirt. Wait a minute. I don't remember saying that to you. Oops. Were you listening to me while I was unpacking white shirts I will never wear but somehow keep in there for some reason for aesthetics? Well, you were talking so loud by yourself. Can a man confront his demons in private? And I'm bored. Oh, okay then. Well, I'll just, you know, mind my own business. But, you know, maybe you should learn to mind your own business. Well, my parents run this hotel, so it is my business. Oh, well, yeah, I guess so. By the way, were you hitting on me earlier? I don't know. Yeah, you were hitting on me. You were asking me if I want to go to the uh, post office bar with you. Well, it is a great way to write a postcard and get drunk and write another postcard to people that you might think you don't want to write a postcard to. But you think to yourself, hey, maybe they'll be jealous. Now, who do you think I would write a postcard to? You don't honestly believe I know people? Well, don't expect me to know what you know, because I don't know. Well, it's not about who I know, it's more about what I know. And I know trampolines, and I can tell you everything from top to bottom of how a trampoline works, from the springs to the uh, felt on the front that you bounce on. When I was but a small boy, I uh, was given a gift of a trampoline by my mother. Will this take long? Well, uh, um, I have a point for this story. But it takes a lot of context to understand where I'm coming from. So would you mind listening to what I have to say? Um... Well, I didn't hear no, so let me explain a little bit. When my father got home, he was furious at me for having a trampoline. He said, I can't have a trampoline. I don't know why your mother got a trampoline. I'm the one that puts a roof over your head. So, oh, oh, God, God is he God. just going to talk about, about trampolines forever? forever? Back. Maybe so we'll I should just, just, only just a nod and really listen to him politely. We have to get this back before, so we can get the full refund. Oh yeah, that's interesting. How did that happen? Well, actually, it's a pretty funny story now that you ask. One story at a time. You know, and so, so that's, that's when he decided to talk a little, a little bit, bit more about, about my mom. returning the trampoline, the trampoline rather, than rather than talking about, about his, his relationship with his father. To a manager, and then if that manager didn't say yes, he'd go up to the next manager. I'm going to die of this. Well, needless to say, my dad got his money back, and uh, I've been obsessed with trampolines ever since. You know, it's always kind of like the thing that you want, but it's never given to you. The it grass is always greener on the other side. Well, that's what I've been told. I don't think this is applicable in this situation, but I can empathize with you wanting to do something and not getting what you want. You look tired. Perhaps you might want to um, go to bed and rest up for a bit. I gotta go. I didn't get to the punchline. This story doesn't have a punchline. This is just a really boring story about your origins of becoming a trampoline salesman. And you haven't heard the best part the yet. The best part is after it's over. Uh, uh, you really think that about me? Well, when everyone puts a and then in their story... Well, how else am I going to have a through line? You end one sentence and start another. I don't know. That seems kind of impossible to do. How do you do it? Well, um, um, words, other things. I don't know what to say to you. And now you know how to talk to someone in the service industry. Oh, hold on. Let me get the door for you. Um... But, yeah, if you get off work, maybe we can... No. Okay. Great. I... I'll... Ah, darn it. <laughs>